to set up a new React project with Vite, open a new terminal in VS Code, and to start working with Vite, you need Node version 18 or higher. You can easily check the version of Node installed on your machine by running Node-V, and that will show you the version of Node that you have installed on your computer. Here, I am working with version 20 of Node. If the Node version that you have is older than 18, you can just go over to nodejs.org and then install the recommended version, which is currently version 20. After installing the correct version of Node.js, you can come back to your VS Code terminal. Of course, you want to make sure that you are in the folder where you would like to create your app. Then just go ahead and type in npm create vit at latest and then enter. It is going to ask you to give your project a name. So I'm going to use vit react app and then click enter. Next step, you are going to select the JavaScript framework you want to use. So you basically use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard select your framework and then click enter and then you will select the variant we're working with javascript and here vit is showing you the three commands you need to use to get started so first we need to change directly to our vit react app and then click enter and now we need to run npm install to set up your app and you can see this took just 19 seconds now if i open our app folder you're going to see that we have everything that we need for this app right here and finally to serve this application you just need to run the last command which is npm run dev and vit is going to serve your app on localhost 5.73 i can just open this in my browser and here you can see that we have our basic Vite React template working very fine. So this is basically how you can start a new React project with Vite. And using Vite for your React project is better than using Create React App. And that is because Create React App is currently outdated. And Vite takes advantage of modern JavaScript features to give you a better experience when working on your project. And if you are just using Vite for the first time, you know if you are working with a Create React App component, you could use the .js extension for your components and files. But with Vite, any file that is returning a JSX element has to end in .jsx. So I hope you got value from this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.